Welcome. In a previous video I went over the procedure to set up a Raspberry Pi as a software defined radio server and I'll put a link in the description to that video and I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using on Amazon and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have a Raspberry Pi 4 here but a Raspberry Pi 3 might actually work better for some people in this situation because it has less uh, power usage so if you're running this off a battery it would probably be better to use the older Pi. And then the software defined radio I'm using is the RTL SDR V3. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is having a standalone wireless SDR server. So in the previous one, you would have it on your network. In this one, it will be standalone. So you could have a cabin in the woods. You could have an antenna on top of it. You could hook that into your Raspberry Pi, and then you could connect to it with a laptop or tablet or something via Wi-Fi. So the Raspberry Pi will act as a Wi-Fi access point. So I'm on my Mac here, but I'm SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi. You could type these right into the Raspberry Pi. I'm using Raspberry Pi OS Buster Lite, so this one does not have a GUI on it. In my original video, I had it on a GUI system. This one is a lighter weight system. It would work on either system. So I installed Raspberry Pi OS. I configured the locale, I updated the system, and then I installed the SOAPY remote software from my previous video. So I'm going to be typing things into the command line here. I'll put a link in the description to my website where I have those commands so you can copy and paste them. So the first thing we need to do here is assign a static IP to the wireless interface. So I'll type in sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash dhcpcd.conf. I'll scroll down to the bottom. I'll copy this information in here. So we have interface wireless LAN zero or WLAN zero. And then we have static space IP equals 192.168.1.1 slash 24. And then the next line is no hook WPA underscore supplicant. I'll hit control O to save, control X to exit. Next, I want to commit the changes to DHCPCD. So I ran this command at sudo space systemctl space daemon dash reload. I'll run the next line. This is sudo space systemctl restart DHCPCD. Next, we'll install DNS mask, and that is sudo apt install DNS MASQ. Now I want to edit that. I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash DNS masks.conf. I'll go down a few lines. I'll hit enter. I'll paste this in here. So this says on the interface WLAN, set up a DHCP range from 192.168.1.2 to 192.168.1.254. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and set the least time for 24 hours. The next line redirects everything to 192.168.1.1. So I'll type Control O to save, Control X to exit. Next I'll install the Wi-Fi access point software. So that's sudo space app space install space host apd. Now I want to edit the hostapd.conf file. So I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash hostapd forward slash hostapd.conf. I'll hit enter. And I have two options here. I have a protected Wi-Fi access point and an open Wi-Fi access point. So if you want a password on it, you use the first configuration. If you don't want a password, you can use the second configuration. So I'll go with a password this time. So I'll copy this, paste it in my config file. I have the SSID here set to SDR, and I have the Wi-Fi passphrase set to password. Now you're obviously going to want to use a different password than password, otherwise you could just have it open. So I hit Control O to save, Control X to exit. And I have some other information here on the Wi-Fi setup. If you have any questions or want to do something more complicated, you can click through those links. Now I need to enable the Wi-Fi setup. So that is sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash default forward slash host apd. I want to scroll down to where it says daemon underscore conf, and I'll paste in this line, daemon underscore conf equals forward slash etc forward slash host apd forward slash host apd dot conf. Okay, now we need to commit the changes to host apd and DNS mask by running these next few lines. I'll run these one at a time in case I have problems. So I'll do a systemctl daemon reload, I'll do unmask host apd, 
I'll say enable host APD and DNS mask. And then I will start host APD and DNS mask. So now it's all set up. So I have this up and running, I'm going to test it. And if it works well, I can set it up as a read-only system with overlay FS. That way I can unplug it without shutting it down and it won't corrupt the system. So the final thing I'll do here is I'll restart it. So I'll say sudo reboot. Okay, I was able to get back in. Okay, so now I'll switch to the SDR Wi-Fi network. Okay, it wants me to type in the password. I'm also going to unplug Ethernet from the Raspberry Pi. So now it does not have any internet access. So I've been disconnected from my SSH session, but I'll go to a new terminal. I'll type ping 192.168.1.1. So I'm able to ping the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi. So what I have right now is I have the Raspberry Pi acting as a Wi-Fi um, access point that's not connected to the internet and my laptop is connected to that Raspberry Pi. So I can't get on the internet here. If I type ping 8.8.8.8, uh, .8 .8 .8, which is Google, it does not go through. So now I can open up my SDR software. I'll open up Cubic SDR. Okay, so we have the SDR here on the local net. You can also go down here to add and go to SOAPY remote and we can type in 192.168.1.1. I'll hit OK. We can select that SDR and I'll hit start. And you'll see here we have the waterfall now. So I can click on it and we're getting it tuned in. So I can use this just like I would if it was plugged into my machine. There we go. So you can't hear the audio on this because I'd get a copyright strike if I put a lot on and I have my microphone plugged into this machine too. But there is audio right now that would be playing if I wasn't recording this. Okay, so I'll quit this. So I'll get back into my Raspberry Pi. Since I'm using the Avahi local DNS name, Raspberry Pi local, I can use this to get in. I think it will work. Yep. If not, you could go to pi at 192.168.1.1 to get into your machine. Okay. And then the final thing we had here was go to sudo raspy config. I'll hit enter there. I'll go down to advanced options. I'll go down to overlay FS. I'll hit enter. It says, would you like the overlay file system to be enabled? I'll say yes. I'll say okay. It says, would you like the boot partition to be right protected? I'll just say no. It's not a bad idea to choose yes, but I don't need that right now. I'll hit okay. I'll go to finish. It asks if I want to reboot now. I'll just say no, but you would want to reboot. And once you reboot, then you can unplug the Raspberry Pi and plug it back in to turn it on and off. So this is all ready to go now. You can take your Raspberry Pi, plug your SDR into it, in a park, you could be running your Raspberry Pi off a portable battery pack, and you could connect to it with your laptop, tablet, or whatever you want to, and run your SDR software. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.